Acura NSX, Honda's Halo car. NSX stands for New Sports Car Experimental. And yes, we know experimental starts with an E and not an X, but the X is the cooler letter. But then again, NSX would have been a good name for a sports car too. But the car was just that, experimental. At the brink of the 90s when we needed something as cool as the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and cups that look like this. Now, Gordon Murray designed the almighty McLaren F1 supercar and went on to state that he used the NSX as the inspiration for the F1 after test driving many high performance cars and finding the chassis of the NSX to be the best performer. Murray also said the design was monumental to sports cars at this time and if the man that made one of the most perfect cars in the world said this then I'm gonna believe him. Now how good was the F1? Well even Elon Musk owned one that he put 11,000 miles on in one year. Yes the electric man himself even loved gas cars which he later crashed while showing off with a friend in the car while driving with no insurance. But Elon Musk is so rich it didn't matter. He's so rich, his hair grew back. Now if I were more productive, then maybe mine would grow back too, but unfortunately I'm not. But there might be a solution to this. ClickUp. ClickUp is a work management platform designed to streamline life. ClickUp is the one tool to house all your tasks, projects, documents, goals, and spreadsheets, and more. And it can be just for you and your small pot of people, or a team of thousands and it's packed with features and customization that no other productivity tool has so you can work the way you work best. We need all the help we can get at this Bread and Circus show. So as a real bonus, it gives us a day back every week so that we can go from fishing in the Sherp and refresh our minds. So join more than 800,000 highly productive teams using ClickUp today. Use code RICHREBUILDS to get 15% off ClickUp's massive unlimited plan for a year, meaning you can start reclaiming your time for under $5 a month. So anyways, someone decided to swap a Tesla motor into an NSX, one of the most perfect, well-balanced cars made. Now I want you guys to tell me, is this electric motor better than the engine it replaces? Hi, I'm Jeff, and I brought my 1994 Acura NSX. Why would you bring a gas-powered car to an electric vehicle event? I don't think I would. I think they would kick me out. I have swapped it uh, with a Tesla Model S large drive unit. So. I actually posted this car on Instagram and there were a lot of polarizing responses how they felt about it. Some people loved it, other people hated it. So what was the purpose of you swapping an iconic Japanese sports car? I didn't do it for other people. I did it for myself. I like that. Oh, I like that. wow. An, I like that. Individual. an individual. Unbelievable. Someone who thinks on their own. <laughs> I have a newborn and I'm someone, thank you, who uh, has tends to have a lot of car projects. I generally okay. have like five or six ongoing at a time. What do you have going on right now? Mostly this, but I have a LS1 swapped Miata. Nice. Um, and that's, I, that's rare and different. Yes. I, I, sold my, <laughs> I sold my Volvo Amazon. Uh, I sold the Sonnet. Um, just trying those to part it. Those are nice. The Sonnet's are nice. It's cool. a pretty car, but right. like aside from the fiberglass, the rest of the car is just rust. Uh, I have my grandma's 1965 Thunderbird, which is a car that's just going to be in my driveway forever because nice. I'm allowed to get rid of that. You have, have your newborn just kind of just sit yeah. in it. This right. is your play structure. Play yeah, right, here. Yeah. I have a newborn and I have all these like cars yeah. and I just have zero time. I was like, figure out what it is that I want to work on right. and get rid of all these projects and just have the like, you know, the minimum projects to work on, which right. I still have more than I probably should. But you figured you'd add another yeah. project to it. I would say, you know, I really want, you know, NSX is a beautiful car that I've wanted for an incredibly long time. I right. finally had a point in my life where I could buy one. And I've also really wanted to do an EV swap right. for a really long time. And this is your first EV swap? Uh, I have helped a friend with uh, a Nash Metropolitan, right. but it's actually less done than this. So. <laughs> <laughs> but sir, this is a Gen 1 NSX. You know what those go for? Yeah. You know, it came with this carbon fiber hood. It's got BC Racing coilovers. Nice. Did that answer the question that yeah, we were Yeah, it answered the question. Oh, is, is BC Racing something to brag about? I think BC Racing is a little bit, you know. Oh, it is. I would not be. Yeah, it's like a little. <laughs> That's why I think it came with that, yeah. not I put that. Look at that pronunciation of this walking <laughs> stick. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, it is. <laughs> the money shot. Dude, isn't that the money shot. Isn't this bizarre? So, Look at this. Yeah, this is a Model S uh, large guide unit. Is it a sport or just a just It's just a base. Mind. Actually, you know, but it's backwards, so the yeah. differential should be in front. Oh, um, yeah. And so that was so that I didn't have to cut out all the suspension in order to make it work. Oh, so wait a minute. So this is this a OEM NSX subframe? You don't have to cut any of it? Uh, yeah. Oh, you know, I cut a little bit right okay. here. I, I notched the rear cross member on the subframe. Okay. But 
I think that's more than a notch. Oh, I can yeah, actually yeah, see yeah. it from that's, here. It's, it's, it's a little bit more than a notch. Part, unbolts, then you can pull a new one in. I yeah. actually found a new one on eBay. Yeah, it's I like, just, yeah. You, you can make it back. I, I noticed that. Well, uh, eBay is the place for everything. Everything so is. We do know that. Everything automotive. Go ahead, eBay. So you have your, your cooling reservoir here. So yeah. what is, what's controlling all of this? What do you have for a controller? Uh, I'm using a board called uh, Open Inverter. It's open source. I ordered that up. I put it in. It's got a web page that you can go and change the parameters. Uh, but that allows me to run it in reverse at full speed. Because if you do a CAN bus spoofing, yeah. the Tesla motor, like the control board in the Tesla it says no. It's just a temporary battery. Yes, yeah, this isn't I, like I the gold here. Yeah. Three years later. Yeah. Yeah. Same, same battery. Same battery. battery. Yeah. Use my uh, walking stick here. What does right. it say? Hood stick. Oh. OEM o Honda. OEM H. It's a really, really nice H. Yeah. Thank you. It I actually like came it. with the car. All right. Oh. So is this, uh, so this is your, this is your brown here? Yeah. All right. I, I like that. Brown <laughs> <laughs> um, barefoot. How many shoes on? I, I don't really. Yeah, I took my high heels off because I like to get grounded first. I, I do that too. That's great. Oh, I'm actually barefoot as well. Yeah. Absolutely. Wow. Oh my God. What a coincidence! Okay. It just happens to be. Yeah. So what? So what is this out of? It says Toyota on it. But what, what is it? Was it uh, out of? This is a 2006 Toyota Prius uh, hybrid battery. Mm. Uh, I don't know. It came from pick and pull. But <laughs> so wait a minute. So is this the only battery that you have in the car? Yeah, right now. So my question is, have you driven this yet? I'm only asking because that battery is very small to be pushing that kind of power to a large drive unit. I've sat in the car. Yeah. And I have. Stepped on the pedal, yeah, and the car has moved that far. Ah. <laughs> un, un piquito. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it did move. He is right. It moved. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, He's right, you know. It is. It, it, moved, is, yeah. it will move under its own power. So technically, he is finished. He did accomplish the task. There's no, so there's no BMS on this because it's just looks like it's just too wide. I have out of literally it. been taking it out of the trunk and putting it out of my bench and charging it with a RC car hobby charger. That a boy. That a boy. Balancing the cells by hand. Right. All right. Oh, that's well. Uh, yeah. I almost. I, I almost want to say. That the original engine in here was better, but I'm not going to say that. We can't. We can't. I'm not going we to can't say belittle that. this man. I'm not, he, he, in front honestly, of this I'm, thing. I'm not even mad because I've never this, even he, seen the original. Engine. He didn't even tell us what he paid for Wait, it. Wait, so you, so you didn't, There was no engine in here when you bought it? No, I, I bought the car. It's got 229,000 miles. Right. So who knows how many owners? I mean, technically, I have the car tax, but right. I know. But at some point, the original motor in it. Yeah. Uh, something happened, and someone decided to K swap it, mm -hmm. and so it had a turbo K swap. Right. And then the, that person tried to sell it with the K swap, and it seemed like it wasn't really going anywhere. Right. And so I said, you know, hey, sell it to me without the K, the K motor, so that I can go do this awesome project. And he was like, that guy was all about it because he's really? a troll, and he was like, oh my god, I guess I definitely want you to put an EV motor in this and make people angry. So you bought it from him. How much money did you give him to take possession of the car? What did it cost? Yeah, let's look under the hood. That's no, but what did it cost? Yeah, that's, that's the part. Everything. It came with this beautiful yeah. hybrid hood. It really keeps going back to that. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at that. VIS racing. Oh, thing. I don't think VIS has anything to brag about either. Come on, but look at this. Is, the BC. You see the BC? Yeah. Isn't it nice? Yeah, I love that. I think that's not bad. And I mean. So really, everything else is intact. Like the entire wiring harness of the car, you left intact. It's just what's powering um, it is pretty much the same, right? Yeah, I mean, the interior of the car, like, I've done basically nothing to. I ran the wires up right. so that I could have my forward and reverse switch and yeah, my yeah. side switch, and in the back, there's, you know, they unplugged where you unplug to take a motor out, yeah. and I just never plugged anything back in. Was it manual or automatic? It was manual. But it's, uh, it's a nice little, came out of a power yeah. wheels. Yeah. I figured, you know, it's good enough for power wheels, it's good enough for an NSX. Of course it's gotta be. I was gonna say, yeah, this is oddly familiar, isn't it? Oh, oh, power wheels, oh, oh, power wheels, power wheels, power wheels, power wheels. I think um, people are, we might have, we, we, I don't think we could post this video, Steven. He'll be really mad at him. To protect his identity and safety, we're not gonna put this video up. You know what? I wanna put, I don't, my, I don't feel comfortable doing it, so. Why are we protecting a random stranger? Let's just, yeah, that's true. Anyway, we'll keep playing. Keep going. No, this, right. is, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is, yeah, this is, this is, this is, uh, no, in, 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 in all seriousness, <laughs> this is actually kind of cool. And it, it is gonna piss off a lot of people. When do you plan on, is it, what's the next step for it, besides finishing it? I mean, so the next step is to, Put, well, get it actually rolling more than that far. Yep. You understand. might need a bigger yeah. battery pack to do yeah, that. Yeah, you might, you might which, need that. Which may actually just be a, a larger battery pack. I'm assuming for this car, you'd have to have maybe two battery packs. So the plan is to, I don't want to cover the motor. Like I could probably put a bunch of batteries on top of the motor. Yep. But then There's room for it. When you look down from the top, I don't want you looking at batteries. I want you looking down at that beautiful nice, Tesla. You know, nice design yeah. element. Yes, I get it. Uh, so the batteries are going to go in the, the front. Yep. It's not really a front, but whatever. Uh, but there's not a lot of room up there though. You probably fit like maybe a... 
Are, are you planning on switching to Tesla cells? You want to keep the same no. Toyota ones? I think the Tesla cells are too hard to fit because of the size. They're big, yeah. And so I'm actually, I bought a 2015 Leaf at auction. Oh, you did? Uh, and I drove it around. I had a, real, I had a good time. I did the Gambler 500 right. in Oregon and like rallied that car hard. Oh, awesome. Uh, and the plan is to pull the pack out, sell the rest of the car, to yep. basically have a free 24 kilowatt battery. And you mm. put it in here. And then I'll take the cells apart. And the cells are, you know, they're real small. They're right. like a binder, basically. Right. And so I'm going to put those cells and put a bunch in the front. Uh, I don't need a radiator anymore. I plan on keeping all the coolant in the back of the car. And then the gas tank is behind the seats and between the motors. What's your end goal with it? Do you want to make, is it a track car, cruiser, it's a daily driver. to 60, daily driver? It's a daily driver. Just put miles on it, have fun with it. And then, you know, every now and then go have fun, like go to the track. Do you know, yeah. I plan on being here next year at Holly uh, High Voltage. And have this thing ripping around the track. And, you know, drag strip passes, maybe a few laps before the battery overheats because the, the leaf cells are air cooled. Right, yeah, <laughs> right. Yes, you got a lot of air cooling in there. Maybe on the list um, at getting rid of the fake bolts, maybe. And it's some real bolts on there. Those are think. not fake. <laughs> no, they are. They are not. Would you put fake bolts on a pass would you put it on? Yeah, I was just going to say that. You know what I was going to say next. How come we don't have the Volk sticker on it like everyone else does? I don't know. I actually yeah. think the Volk sticker looks good. Yeah. No, so it I don't, it also came with red valve stems. I don't think the red, like, I think it would have been too, like, McDonald's. Yeah, very true. So, well, I mean, it is anyways, but. Yeah, it is, but it, it doesn't. You, you no, do bronze, you. Bronze on, it, it does it. It's bronze on red. Yeah. Really Ronald good. McDonald would drive this car. Yeah, he absolutely would. <laughs> so some yellow in there, he'd be good. Yeah. Uh, some cool stuff. So I was blown away when, so the CV shafts came with the motor when I got it from the record. Yep. And there was no CZ shafts in the car when I got it. Yeah. So I took the outer CV and I shoved it in from the outside. And right. the splines and diameter of the Tesla Model S CV perfectly matched the NSX really? hubs. Good to know. So for those watching this that want to convert their NSX to electricity as well, yeah. it'd be really easy to drop a Tesla motor in there. The, the only thing you really got to shorten the shafts because the, the Tesla's a little wider. Too wider. So if, if someone wanted to buy this from you without the Tesla stuff in it, with the way you got it of the original person, they give you? I mean, I would probably go on, you know, your common like trailer related auction site and yeah. look at the prices and gotcha. say, okay, somewhere around there. But understood. Yeah. Okay. All right. Excited to see you here next year. So this, this is really fun. All right. Let's push it out of here. <laughs> I mean, you need just a few more volts. It's a few, it's just a a few more, more volts. It's, 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 like it's at 100% charge. The key's not in there. He's Okay. He puts his it. shaft in the trunk. You're gonna break it. Come on. Yeah, I don't want it. Yeah. Oh, oh. Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah there you go. I like the NSX EV. That's Thank cool. You. you know, throw back to the NSX R. That's clever. I like it. I like it. I can't wait to see this thing rip. It's cool. And once you load it up with batteries, I mean, if they're right, when you think about it, the out of the box, the NSX, for the time, it was great. In today's, in, in today's standards, a V6 Camry would take this out. V I mean, anything would take yeah. this out at this point. It made like 200 something horsepower. It really wasn't. Yeah, but it doesn't look this good. It, 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 yeah, it's, it's, it's the look, but it's, you know what it is? Like, as, like they always say, nostalgia's a bitch. You look at that, wow, it's so iconic in today's world. It's you, just you, a pretty you, car. Yeah, it's a pretty car. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure it handles great, but I mean, there's cars out there that will handle its ass, but people don't want to real. People, they don't want to accept that. They say to themselves, you know what, I bought a Gen 1 NSX. I've always wanted this car. I paid a hundred grand for it. I had the poster on my wall. I had the poster on my wall. Yep. And if you insult that car, they're gonna go berserk. But it's really, it is what it is. It's 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 in the past. It's a great design, but I mean, that is really nice. Like the fact that it's all aluminum is just yeah. like this car was in the, on the East Coast, like two hundred thousand miles of East Coast time. Seriously, the only rust is like you know the random steel bits here and there. No, like, awesome. you go you go into the car, just it's clean. Yeah, no, it's nice. It's really yeah. nice. All right, when you get bored of it. I'll just sell it on one of those sites like eBay. Those options, I yeah, you see, you see, you like sell eBay. It on eBay. Three weeks later. So, just so you know that this is all real, it's not fake. The car actually drives. Here's a uh, new batteries, temporarily mounted in the trunk. Chrysler Pacifica Hybrid. Hopefully, won't light on fire. And. That whirring you hear in the background is the uh, coolant pump running. Watch me scrape my lip on my driveway.
I've been working on, in addition to the new batteries, uh, a DC-DC, basically an alternator replacement for an EV, and then the charging system. I need to be able to plug it in. So I have a 10 kilowatt Tesla charger going in, and a DC-DC out of a uh, Chevy Volt. Uh, so those will go in, the batteries will get mounted, and then the car will really, really be driving around. And then she can go for a ride. Car doesn't make that noise anymore. Oh God! <laughs> How's it feel? So the electric NSX, is it in fact a better car now? Did he ruin it? It's more powerful and more efficient and completely silent. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section and make sure you check out his build on Instagram at red underscore goes underscore green, which I think is very cheesy. But either way, I'll see you guys next week.